Hi everyone, I'm Sarah McMurray and I look after product marketing for voice and music at Qualcomm. We've just announced our latest Qualcomm Aptex lossless technology and we're here today to discuss what this means to the overall user experience, how audio use cases are evolving and some of the underlying technologies making these new use cases possible. We've got an incredible panel for you, so before we get started, I'll let them introduce themselves. Doug? Hey everyone, uh, so glad to be here. Um, Motorola's Executive Director of North America Business Development and uh, Doug McHow again, my name. <laughs> Thanks, Doug. Um, Jonathan? Hi everyone, Jonathan Levine, Founder and CEO of Master and Dynamic. Thanks. And last but not least, James? Hi, <laughs> nice to be here. James Chapman, I'm the VP and GM of our voice, music and wearables uh, business unit here at Qualcomm. Thanks, Guy. Um, so James, today we announced a new feature of our Snapdragon Sign technology, Aptex Lossless. Can you tell us a bit more about that and what it means to the overall listening experience? Absolutely. So we're very excited to launch Aptex Lossless today. Um, it's a CD quality lossless codec. So it gives you mathematically bit for bit exact CD quality lossless audio at 16 bit and at 44.1 kilohertz. So we've taken a, a systems approach. We've put the Aptex lossless codec in as part of our overall Aptex adaptive set of codecs and technologies. And that itself is then running on our end-to-end -end optimized Snapdragon sound ecosystem. And that allows us to work seamlessly, uh, both to deliver rates above a megabit per second, and then with our adaptation technology to scale down to as low as 140 kilobits per second in very congestive RF environments to minimize any audio dropouts or glitches for a very consistent and reliable audio experience. Thanks. Um, why do you think this is so important now? So there's a lot going on in audio at the moment. Um, you can see an awful lot of the streaming companies really pushing high definition, lossless audio. And we're seeing that the consumers are resonating with this. We at Qualcomm do a state of sound survey every year. We survey about 6,000 consumers globally about their attitudes and purchase drivers towards audio. And the results show that sound is there as the number one purchase driver. They're really insisting on sound quality. And in fact, it's been a very consistent theme through the number of years of us doing this survey. And we asked them explicitly whether they wanted lossless or high resolution audio. And we found that over half our respondents came back saying, yes, absolutely. That's what we want, lossless or high resolution audio quality. And in fact, a massive 64% of our respondents came back and said that lossless audio quality was likely to influence their decision to purchase a new set of wireless earbuds. Thanks. This um, seems to be such a hot topic and there's so much in, um, demand from consumers that we're seeing. But why haven't we seen this before um, on heads up, headsets and earbuds? Well, Sarah, it's, it's because it's hard uh, is the brutal truth. People have wanted to do this on Bluetooth headsets for a long time. Um, but if you like, the data pipe from the phone to the headsets just hasn't been fat enough or reliable enough. And with our Snapdragon Sound optimized setup, which goes from the phone to the earbud, we're able to build in much more reliable, higher data rate pipes. And that allows us to then bring in this new Aptex lossless codec and deliver a reliable CD quality lossless audio stream from the phone to the earbuds. So it's about the ecosystem optimization that we've provided in Snapdragon Sound that allows us to then deliver that lossless quality audio. Thanks, James. Um, and that part of that ecosystem um, uh, is, is the mobile. Um, Doug James just mentioned our State of Sound 2021 consumer survey. One of the data points that really stood out was that over 70% of consumers said that good audio when they're wireless devices allows the best experience when they're using their smartphone. How important do you feel great sound is to that consumer experience? 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think audio is extremely important to creating that immersive experience. You know, whether you're doing video calling, streaming, uh, watching sports or TV, gaming, even just scrolling through your social media content, sound is so important. We've seen over the past couple of years, display sizes get bigger, um, less borders, higher refresh rates, and even um, richer colors with a 10-bit color depth. But with audio, it, it, it hasn't advanced as far. So we're really excited about the possibilities that the Snapdragon sound will bring to the mobile device to give that fully immersive, not only video, but audio experience. Uh, you know, at Motorola, we're always committed to creating that best mobile user experience for our customers. So offering them this highest sound quality to match some of the high video that they're watching, uh, we think is the perfect combination. And with Snapdragon specifically, you know, we're, we're optimizing that sound quality across the audio chain. So um, not, not just, you know, from the device, but to the wireless headphones as well. And we believe that connectivity experience, that seamless connectivity, as well as the improved battery life is really going to add a lot of value to consumers, especially in particular, we always see that one of the top pain points from consumers is battery life. So you have to have lots of battery life to enjoy these great experiences and Really glad to hear about this new innovation with the Snapdragon um, audio experience. Thanks. The report um, also showed a shift in how and where consumers are using their devices, largely due to the impact of the pandemic. And um, this included an increase in the time spent mobile gaming. How do you see future mobile use cases evolving? Yeah, we've seen um, very similar results as well. So overall, in the industry landscape, um, you know, and, and of course, the landscape of all of our lives has changed really in the last year and a half, is that we spend more time on our phones connecting with other people, whether it's through video conference calls. So we've, you know, we've all been on um, different video calls with friends and family. And wouldn't it be great just to have better audio experience than that? So we definitely see that that trend will continue, in fact, in the future, as we have even a hybrid uh, work model. But but also we're seeing that consumers are turning to the device as that number one source for watching not just movies but sports and tv shows as well so this will make that experience and the more time that they're spending doing these things uh, that much more enjoyable um, and we really believe that these shifts are, are here to stay um, from our data as well we see an increase in gaming uh, of course an in-game uh, an increase in video consumption as well and so anything that reduces that latency and ensures that the video and audio are syncing properly and in high fidelity lossless audio, like James had mentioned, I think is a great thing that consumers will certainly see that benefit. And um, tell us a little bit more about the device or devices from Motorola that will be getting support for Snapdragon Find. Yeah, we're absolutely thrilled. Just last week, we announced our um, the Motorola Edge device. And uh, so we're really excited to be partnering with um, everyone to be the first manufacturer really to bring that Snapdragon sound to our customers with this new 2021 Motorola Edge. Um, for those who didn't get a chance to read um, that uh, our, our launch of, or see the launch event activities, the Edge device itself, um, what we're concentrating is on, is on those experiences, more of what people want today, whether it's the advanced display technology, impressive camera and hardware software that make taking those once in a lifetime moments nearly effortless, uh, or even having a very fast immersive display with 144 Hertz. So there's a lot of different great capabilities on that device. And we even announced another feature called Ready For, where you can not only uh, take your content to the, on the device, but also project it to a larger screen. And again, you, when, you, when you're projecting to a larger screen, you've got that great visual experience you want to pair that with an equally great audio experience with a Snapdragon sound will offer that. So Really excited that on this Motorola Edge device, we'll soon have that Snapdragon sound. That sounds amazing. Um, I can't wait to try it out. Um, Jonathan, our State of Sound survey also showed that globally, over half of consumers said they're interested in high res or lossless audio. From an earphone and headphone perspective, is this something that Master and Dynamic are seeing too? Absolutely. We've definitely been experiencing increase in demand for lossless audio from our customers now that major services have had hi-fi audio more accessible. As a luxury audio company, we've always strived to build wireless products with superior sound quality. So with lossless streaming widely available now, the only remaining hurdle to giving our customers the best possible performance was really connectivity. Luckily, Qualcomm has solved this with Snapdragon Sound. As well as lossless, 
um, and high res audio. Are there other features that you're seeing increase consumer interest in? For sure. Obviously, one has to think about active noise cancellation. Uh, this was becoming uh, increasingly apparent pre-COVID, but uh, during COVID, as people were working in crowded uh, locations, maybe from home, uh, active noise cancellation became increasingly uh, necessary. So we are obviously on that path to enhance all of our products. Uh, and as noted in the State of Sound report, about 41% of people surveyed globally said that they expect to work remotely permanently. So clearly we hope to tap into this uh, need for ANC going forward. Uh, we're also seeing an overall increased usage in wireless audio products since the start of the pandemic. Uh, and again, battery life, as mentioned, uh, is a preeminent uh, concern. Uh, again, working with Qualcomm, uh, we, we are able to increase the battery life uh, on these devices significantly. Great. Um, and overall, um, how do you see the earbuds and headphone categories evolving over the next few years in terms of trends and use cases? Uh, well, clearly over the last uh, several years, the trend has been towards true wireless earphones with uh, headphones sort of declining a bit. Uh, now that is uh, uh, changing a bit with gaming. Obviously gaming is coming on strong uh, and we're well equipped uh, to participate in that uh, sector of the market. Um, you know, one of the things that Master Demek has done well from the beginning, uh, and I think one of the reasons Qualcomm reached out to us on this Snapdragon project, is that we are we are able to marry sort of the need for fashion and design uh, and high-end products uh, very well. So uh, we're big believers if, if people are going to be wearing headphones and earphones uh, throughout the day going forward, that they want them to be the best experience both on a performance basis, but also uh, on an aesthetic basis. Great, thank you. Um, you mentioned kind of performance and um, aesthetics there as well. Um, is comfort something that um, is a big factor in, in terms of um, that all day use case, do you think? Uh, absolutely, uh, <laughs> absolutely. I don't think uh, anybody imagined we'd be wearing headphones or earphones uh, for as many hours in the day as we do today. Um, We've made great inroads, uh, as well as uh, many of our competitors, but it's still, uh, you know, a never-ending challenge to get that right combination of weight, size, comfort, and fit. So obviously, things like foam ear tips or other materials, uh, the combination of other lightweight and durable materials, uh, are all things that that we work on on a continuing basis. If listeners are interested in learning more about lossless and our Snapdragon sign technology and also the suit of sign survey that we referenced, they can visit uh, the Snapdragon sign page on Qualcomm.com. Thank you, everyone.